Hello today's video we have the following content. Lazy H.I. Being pampered by Jet Li for 34 years, outsiders think she is in a honeypot, but behind the sweetness are tears. Everyone knows Lazy H.I.'s stunning beauty and charming style. No one knows the bitterness of her childhood and the suffering she suffered when she first entered this industry. It was so hard to support herself, but she was called a film and television vase. It was so hard to find the one she loves after going through so much trouble, but in the eyes of others, no matter how strong the love is, it can't compare to that little bit of breast meat. She once fascinated Stanley Ho and Jackie Chan, and even Jet Li was willing to divorce for her and hand over the economic power. What's going on? Let's take a look at Lizzie Hi's first half of life and find the answer. An unfortunate childhood needs a lifetime to make up. In the winter of 1961, Lizzie Hi was born in an ordinary family in Shanghai. When Lizzie Hi was three years old, her parents always quarreled and finally divorced, and Lizzie Hi followed her father. I thought this was dramatic enough, but I didn't expect it to be just the beginning of a nightmare. Not long after the divorce, my father left Lizzie to be taken care of by his elderly grandmother and went to Hong Kong to seek development. So throughout Lizzie's childhood, the only person who could make her feel a little warm was her elderly grandmother. Since Lizzie could remember, she didn't know what fatherly and motherly love felt like. At that time, divorce was a very shameful thing and would be talked about by others. Lizzie was originally a victim and was often bullied by boys in her class at school. After being suppressed for a long time, Lizzie, who should have been heartless, didn't like to talk every day. And she always felt resistant to outsiders. In the eyes of others, Lizzie was a weird child. When Lizzie was 20 years old, her father, who hadn't seen her for a long time, showed up again and fulfilled his previous promise and took Lizzie to Hong Kong. Lizzie H.I., who still had some vision for the future, thought that she could start over in a new place, and that she would have her father by her side and would not be lonely anymore. However, she never thought that this was just an empty dream. When she was a child, Lizzie H.I. was well behaved and pretty, and was often praised by everyone. But after arriving in Hong Kong, she felt that she was quite ordinary. After all, she had grown up and should make money. Then Lizzie H.I. looked for work everywhere on the crowded streets of Hong Kong, but she had a mediocre education and could not find any decent job. However, Lizzie H.I. had a spirit of not admitting defeat since she was a child, and she happened to see a company recruiting actors. Then Lizzie H.I. wanted to give it a try, but when she arrived at the audition place, Lizzie H.I. saw that the people who were better than her were much older, and her appearance, which she always thought was very beautiful before, became so ordinary that it could not be more ordinary here. Hey, it was true. After Lazy H.I.'s audition, the judges said that she was too rustic and asked her to leave directly. Lazy H.I. was unwilling to accept it, but she also recognized the situation and felt that only by making herself better could she have a different future. Then Lazy H.I. told her father that she wanted to study abroad. Fortunately, her father took into account the father-daughter relationship and took out the money he had saved for Lazy H.I. to go to school. Later, Lizzy H.I. passed the TOEFL and went to the University of San Francisco to study. At that time, Jet Li's life took a turn. Compared with Lizzy H.I., although Jet Li was not as miserable as Lizzy H.I., he was not very good either. When Jet Li was two years old, his father died of a serious illness. There were five brothers and sisters in the family. When Jet Li was young, he often helped his mother with things. As a result, his body was much stronger than that of ordinary children. When Jet Li was eight years old, he was spotted by Wu Bin, a martial arts coach. Then he successfully entered the martial arts school. Jet Li did not disappoint Wu Bin. In just a few years, his kung fu improved a lot. Moreover, he was particularly willing to endure hardships and won the championship in many competitions. This was a motivation for Jet Li, because winning the championship would get a bonus, which could help his family alleviate financial difficulties. In 1981, a famous director wanted to make a movie called Che Olin Temple. But the leading actor had not been decided. At this time, he saw Jet Li, who had won many championships, and invited Jet Li to film. The movie became a big hit as soon as it was broadcast, and the ratings rushed to the first place. Since then, Jet Li's career as a kung fu superstar has begun. Although he was injured all over during the performance, Jet Li was very happy. At that time, there was a senior sister named Wong Qian who took good care of Jet Li. Sometimes Jet Li was hungry, and this person took him home for dinner. After a few times, Jet Li felt dependent on the senior sister and regarded this dependence as love. But no one expected that the will of fate had just begun to turn. 
In 1986, Lizzie H.I., who returned from school, completely lost her initial rusticity and became more mature and charming. In that year, Lizzie H.I. participated in the Miss Asia competition and won the title of Miss Asia at once. In the end, Lizzie H.I.'s career was like fast forward. She won many awards. Lizzie H.I.'s name became popular all over the country. Even Nick Kwon exaggeratedly said, if Lizzie H.I. can't become Miss Asia, I will burn down the TV station. Later, Lizzie H.I. entered the film and television industry, but her development was not smooth. At that time, she was often ridiculed and disliked because of her accent and being a foreigner. Especially when she was filming Tiger Out with Chow Yun-Fat, she suffered a lot. The whole process was so scary and miserable that it was unbearable to watch. Not only did people see that she was thrown on the coffee table and injured, but she was almost covered with flour on her face and almost couldn't breathe. But she didn't say anything for the sake of the authenticity and success of the film and television dramas. In the subsequent film and television dramas, Lizzie H.I. was always called a film and television vase, saying that she was beautiful but useless, and also making rumors about her. There was a dance that almost made the 66-year-old Gambler King unable to bear it, but at that time, the Gambler King was already surrounded by a bunch of beauties, so the two of them were ambiguous for a while, and then there was no further story. When filming the movie Dragon in the End of the World, Lizzie H.I. and Jet Li met. When Jet Li saw Lizzie H.I., he felt that kind of heartbeat in his heart. Now he understood that love does not start from dependence, but from heartbeat. After the filming, Jet Li bravely confessed to Lizzie H.I., but at that time Jet Li had a wife, and Lizzie H.I. did not take it seriously. Who would have thought that Jet Li directly told his pregnant wife that he wanted a divorce? After understanding his own thoughts, he thought that the initial dependence was the kind of brother to sister, not love. Wong Kiyuan looked at Jet Li with a very determined attitude, and had no choice but to agree to divorce. Later, Jet Li expressed his love to Lizzie H.I., but Lizzie H.I. had experienced too many vicissitudes of life and no longer trusted men, so she made a 10-year agreement with Jet Li, and Jet Li really agreed. And in the following period, Jet Li took good care of Lizzie H.I. Even if Lizzie H.I. had a huge debt, Jet Li helped to solve it without thinking. At this time, Lizzie H.I. also understood that Jet Li was really good to her. As a result, the two got married and had two children. They have been together for 34 years now, but their feelings have not become dull, but have become deeper. Although the two have suffered a lot in their lives, fortunately, they have healed each other's wounds, which is also quite happy. Let's not talk too much about the rest of their lives, but we must cherish the people around us. There is always freshness, but it is difficult to keep your heart. Next news. Jet Li's eldest daughter, Li Si, witnessed her father's transfer of affection to Li Zhi, and now she is 34 years old and dares not get married. Jet Li and Wang Qian met in the martial arts team of Beijing Shichihei Sports School. They practiced martial arts together, encouraged each other, and their feelings gradually deepened. Wang Qian cared about Jet Li very much, not only bringing him food, but also sometimes helping him mend his clothes. This warm friendship was particularly precious in the hard training life. The great success of Shea Olin Temple in 1982 made Jet Li famous. This sudden fame seemed to make him a little proud and complacent, and he had the idea of breaking up with Wong Qian. In order to avoid being criticized, Jet Li strongly recommended Wong Qian to play the leading role when preparing to shoot the sequel of Shea Olin Temple, hoping to make up for his mistakes with this move. The turning point of fate happened when Jet Li was making North and South Shea Olin. Because of an accidental injury, he may face the risk of lifelong disability. At this critical moment, Wang Qian never left and took care of him in the hospital for a long time. Perhaps moved by this sincere emotion, or considering the future life, Jet Li chose to marry Wang Qian. One day in June, in 1987, they held a very simple wedding. There were no flowers to decorate the scene, no words of blessing, and even no wedding banquet. Jet Li married Wang Qian quietly, without even telling anyone. After marriage, Wang Qian devoted herself to the family, often accompanied her husband Jet Li to film while pregnant, supporting his career in her own way. In 1988, their eldest daughter Li Si was born, and then the second daughter Li Tami came into the world. Wang Qian was busy taking care of the children and inevitably ignored Jet Li, but she always maintained complete trust in her husband. However, in this seemingly happy family, a storm was quietly brewing. In 1989, when Jet Li was filming Dragon in the End of the World, he met Lizzie H.I., an actor in the same group. 
This feeling came suddenly, intensely and deeply, making Jet Li fall in love with Lee Zhi uncontrollably. In order to be with his new lover for a long time, he made a cruel choice, abandoning his original wife Wang Qian. This choice was like a heavy blow, which not only destroyed Wang Qian's happiness, but also left irreparable damage to the young Li Si and Li Tami. Under the temptation of fame and fortune and love, a family that was once full of love came to an end of disintegration. Li Si started her school life in September 1995, when she was only seven years old. Being Jet Li's daughter did not make her feel proud, but instead became the object of ridicule by her classmates. Some malicious classmates would say, your father abandoned you and is going to marry another woman. Little Li Si was stabbed by this sentence, like a sharp knife. He ran home crying to ask his grandmother Zhang Fenglin for help, but he only saw his grandmother crying silently and speechless. Li Si persistently called his father, hoping that he could go home as soon as possible and not give up on himself and his mother. However, no one answered the phone. The biting cold wind seemed to have taken away the last bit of warmth and the last emotional bond between father and daughter. In 1999, Lisi finally saw her long-lost father again. But before they could greet each other, Jet Li suddenly announced that he was going to marry Lisi H.I. Although he wanted to invite Lisi and Li Tami to Hong Kong to witness their wedding, his father's request was rejected coldly. As she grew older, she gradually understood the reason for her parents' divorce and had a deeper understanding of the pain her mother suffered. However, this reunion did not repair the rift between father and daughter, but made Lisi more resentful of her father. From then on, she completely ignored any letters and calls about her father. Lisi was full of contradictions and confusion. She wrote in her diary, Why am I Jet Li's daughter? If my father was an ordinary person, maybe they would not divorce, and I could have a complete family. In July 2000, her grandmother Zhang Fenglin, who died of cancer, took away Lisi's only happiness and shelter. So Jet Li decided to send the sisters to a private boarding school, while he threw himself into the affairs of his new family. Lisi felt even more disappointed and painful about this indifferent attitude. In boarding school, she had to learn to be independent. Compared with the ivory towers where Lisi H.I.'s daughters lived, she had already experienced the hardships of life. Although Jet Li occasionally returned to Beijing to visit them, the frustrated Li Si never looked at him more. She always hoped that her mother would take her and her sister to her side. It was not until 2006 that the 18-year-old Li Si finally got her wish and was sent to the United States to reunite with her mother in high school. Even though the environment changed, the shadow of childhood did not dissipate. Li Si was deeply affected by that traumatic upbringing, which planted the seeds of her attitude towards love and marriage in her heart. Wang Qian came to the United States after her divorce and experienced the most difficult period of her life. As a woman who was unemployed and stayed at home after getting married, she had no relatives or friends in a foreign country, and it was even difficult to find a formal job. To make matters worse, she was unable to repay the loan for the American property, which eventually led to the house being auctioned off by the court. Wang Qian, who had lost her home, could only move into a dark and narrow basement with her daughter. However, in order to protect her daughter from suffering, she painfully decided to send Li Si and Li Tami back to China and let Li Lianji's mother Zhang Fenglin take care of them. This difficult decision made Wang Qian feel extremely heartbroken, but she knew it was the best choice. In the United States, Wang Qian's life was full of uncertainty. She had no stable income and even had to rely on friends for help to eat and wear warm clothes. Despite this, she did not give up her expectations for the future. Instead, she sought help from friends and began to learn beauty techniques. After that, she made a living in the United States by cutting hair, slowly accumulated some funds, and finally left the basement. The turning point of fate happened in 2005. Wang Qian met her second husband, a Chinese restaurant owner from Shandong. The man who also encountered similar difficulties, his ex-wife died of illness, leaving behind two sons. The two once wounded hearts sought comfort from each other and eventually came together. After getting married, Wang Qian moved to Los Angeles to live with her new family. She successfully found her own happiness and got along well with her two stepchildren. With the care and support of her husband, Wang Qian gradually got rid of the shadow of divorce and smiled again. By 2006, when Li Si was about to go to high school, Wang Qian was finally able to bring her daughter back. In this family reorganization, the stepfather was very kind to the four children, and Wang Qian was flattered. This rare happiness made her feel a lot of emotions and filled her with hope for the future. 
In 2010, after Lisi graduated from college, she found a job in a cultural company in Los Angeles. The little girl who once longed for her father's love has now grown into a professional woman who can stand on her own. Many people were attracted by her excellent performance, but Lisi turned a blind eye to these advances. At work, she showed strong ability and independent spirit. However, in terms of her emotional life, she was extremely cautious. Every time someone showed her kindness, Lisi always avoided it silently. Her behavior puzzled those around her. Initially, Wong Qiyuan was not worried about her daughter's emotional state. As Lisi grew older, her mother began to frequently urge her to consider marriage, but she mistakenly thought that Lisi just wanted to focus on her career and was not in a worry to talk about marriage. Lisi eventually couldn't stand her mother's urging to get married, so she confessed to her mother directly. She admitted that she had no confidence in love and was afraid of getting married. These words shocked and saddened Wang Qiyuan, who realized that the failed marriage not only hurt herself, but also made her daughter lose the ability to love. At present, Li Si is still a single 34-year-old woman. Her life is calm on the surface, but her heart is full of contradictions and struggles. Whenever she saw her father Jet Li and Li Zhi living a happy life, and recalled the painful experience her mother had suffered, Li Si became more determined in her choice. She would rather face life alone than take the risk of trusting someone who might betray her. Wang Qiyuan felt deeply guilty and heartbroken because of Li Si's firm attitude. If she could it again, she would like to give Li Si a happy family. The past is a foregone conclusion, and she can only helplessly witness her daughter imprisoning herself behind high walls. For Li Si, her parents' marriage is like a mirror, reflecting the fragility and fickleness of love. She is worried about repeating her mother's mistakes and is afraid of experiencing betrayal and pain again. She believes that being single is a means of self-protection. Although Lisi is tough on the outside and refuses to talk about love, deep down in her heart, there is still a little girl who longs to be cared for and loved. She may never be able to completely eliminate the fear and distress of her parents' marriage, but she has decided to bravely face the world in her own unique way. Lisi's story is not only a person's experience of mixed joys and sorrows, but also reflects the profound impact of a broken family on children. This story reminds us that in love and marriage, every choice may hurt innocent children and shape their future outlook on life and values. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,